This iconic restaurant, you have been coming here since 1960? Correct. Has weathered civil unrest, recessions, and the pandemic. And after almost 65 years in business, is still a top tourist destination, plus a local hangout and a necessary campaign stop in Washington, D.C. In this episode of A Taste of Chocolate brought to you by Hyundai, we're going inside Ben's Chili Bowl. This is really a staple here in Northwest D.C. They're known for their famous half smokes, homemade chili, and just overall welcoming vibe. So it was started by newlyweds in 1958, okay? And it's still run by their family today. Let's go inside. D.C. is home to many national treasures, and some of the best are its Black-owned food and beverage businesses. So we're exploring Chocolate City to find out how entrepreneurs turn visitors into loyal customers. This is A Taste of Chocolate. All right, so what's your favorite thing? Normally I go for the chili cheese fries with the extra chili, the extra cheese, and the onions. Okay, that's what we need to do. Okay, so if somebody hasn't been here before, go with the hot dog and the chili cheese fries. It is something that we consider to be a, uh, a crown jewel of, of uh, Washington, D.C. So what is it about the half smoke that? One, it's like the way she makes it, it hits home. And here she is, Miss Virginia Ali. She opened Ben's Chili Bowl with her late husband, Ben, in 1958. She is amazing. She's 89 years old. Her three sons have since taken over the day-to-day -day operations of the family business, but... Mom is still here every day. She's been here since she was 25 years old, you know, and so this feels like her home and she welcomes people as if it's her home and she raised us to do the same. Can you take us back to when you and your husband decided to start this restaurant? Like, what made you guys decide to start a restaurant? After we kind of fell in love and wanted to be married, he asked if I would be willing to partner with him in opening a restaurant. And I had discovered how much I enjoyed working with different people every day. So I thought, yeah, this is perfect. And there we are. My dad's from Trinidad, right? So when he started in 1958, if you think about those times, there was no spice. The culture of America didn't have spice. The other brands didn't exist that had those ethnic foods so much. So he credited himself as bringing spice to America, and he really did. All right, we have the famous half smokes here. Well, the half smoke means it was a breakfast sausage. It's a half beef, half pork sausage with a natural casing, which gives it a little bit of a chewy thing. And my husband decided, okay, we can put that in a hot dog bun that has become our number one seller, and it's also Washington's signature dish. I'm ready to taste some. Well, I think we have some for you. We have Ben's original half smoke, mustard, onions, and our secret family recipe chili sauce that I think you're going to enjoy. Let's dig in. I'm going to start with the half smoke. All right. Mm, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> really, really, really good. We've had the pleasure of serving presidents and judges and professionals and teachers and construction workers, everybody. 1963, when Dr. King was planning his march on Washington, I had the pleasure of sitting with him over there a few times while he talked about his dream. So this is where Obama sat when he came to visit. Can you tell us about that time? Well, you know, just a few, couple of weeks before he was inaugurated, his first outing in Washington was here at Ben's Chili Bowl. And he had, of course, the chili half smoke. I was going to ask you what he had. Okay. Oh, yes, he had the chili half smoke. And it was just wonderful to have him. Just wonderful to have him. Because it was something that I didn't think I'd see in my lifetime. How do you think you've been able to have this longevity for, for so long throughout everything? The chili dogs are really good, you know. <laughs> when you treat people the way you'd like to be treated, Kindness pays off in the end. And I think people will let you stay in business 64 years when you do that. Yes. During COVID, we had big challenges, you know what I mean? And to see the community kind of rise up and say, we cannot lose Ben. Ben's must be here. I mean, it was wonderful. Our vice president put a tweet out saying, Ben's has to stay there. She came here during her college days. It means the world to us to see that they continue to succeed and thrive. The fact that we mean so much to so many means a lot to us. I've had the pleasure of serving 
people from all walks of life. That's pretty cool. Very Isn't cool. that cool? Yeah. Excellent.